What's up, everybody? This is Barn on eleven nine seventy. Thank you for watching this video. I'm trying a different way to do the video on my computer. It takes longer to download, but if it makes the audio quality better, then it's worth it for me. All right, guys. Somebody made an interesting comment on my Facebook page, and I actually thought this would be something worth talking about. Um, somebody um, made a comment on one of my posts, asking me. Well, they basically said, "Well, I'm assuming you are part of the libertarian movement." They asked me if I'm a libertarian anarchist. And my reply is, I am nothing as far as a category. I don't consider myself anything more than a human being, a person that lives on the planet Earth. There's a thing called divide and conquer. Divide and conquer is when you could separate the masses into different types of groups. You can easily control them or make it easier to control them. So I don't want to be labeled in any type of one dimension, two dimensional kind of concept, because if you are a Democrat, you have to think of the way of the Democrat. If you're a Republican, you have to think the way of a Republican. If you put yourself in a specific type of group, you limit the amount that you can go as far as your direction. So as far as I'm concerned, I am not part of any movement. I am part of the human race. I am a individual that's trying to become a free people of the land of this planet that we call Earth or whatever you want to call it. I don't want to be put into any kind of category or any kind of group because it's nothing more than a limitation. It is a way to restrict yourself to a certain place where you fit in with another specific group so you feel comfortable with your decision based on what other people feel about it. And that's the difference between people who choose to be followers and follow along with a specific group so they feel comfortable in their environment, or a person who is a free-thinking individual, which will stand alone. Now, people like myself, as you'll see with the people who will automatically dismiss, um, thumb down my videos, no matter what the content is, because they don't watch them, they just don't like me. There are going to be people who don't like individuals because we are different. We have a different opinion. We are not afraid to stand alone. I don't want to be some famous person or some wealthy person that's surrounded by millions of yes men. I don't want to become a yes man either. I was one of those a long time ago before I woke up. Once you become an individual and you're a free thinker, you expand your horizons. Your mind expands. Your mind is a muscle. It's like any muscle in the body. If you don't use it, you're going to lose it. And that's why they dumb down people with things like Duck Dynasty, American Idol, Miley Cyrus is twerking, what's going on with the Super Bowl, all different types of athlete and uh, movie stars, controversies. And things that don't do anything but dumb you down and keep you entertained and occupied. In other words, it doesn't challenge your mind. So when that happens and you don't challenge your mind and you don't study and you don't research, you don't expand your ability to process information, to think, to become more wise. So this is what governments are counting on throughout the world. They want you to be entertained. They want you to be distracted. They want you to look over here while we steal your money from over here. They want you to, to automatically dismiss something because it sounds crazy. Because truth is stranger than fiction. They are counting on your ignorance. They are counting on your silence. And they are definitely counting on your fear. And they want you divided and conquered. It's the oldest trick in the book. That's why you'll have Catholics and Jewish religions and Christians, and blacks, and whites, and Asians, and gays, and straights, and de Democrats, Republicans, Libertarians, you'll have all these different factions. People who are for abortions, people who are against abortions. Instead of everybody realizing we all have a choice, as long as we don't infringe on the rights of other people, we have the right to do whatever we want. And this is where they lie to us. Like, for example, one of my subscribers asked a very good question. They asked, who owns the land? Well, nobody owns the land. This is what Native Americans and people like the Mayans and other ancient cultures knew about. And that's why they were slaughtered, because they knew they did not own the land. They lived off the land. They moved around. They kept things in sync with, the, with nature and realized that when you die and pass on, you can't take it with you. So nobody can own anything. It is called the right of usage. This includes governments. 
The way governments get around it is by writing pieces of paper that are called titles or registrations or mortgages or things like that, and they claim ownership, but they don't own the physical land. They just own whatever that document is on that piece of paper. You just think that's what it means. So when they say, oh, you owe a mortgage because we own your property, well, they don't own the property. They just own the certificate that lames claim to it. And until we understand these things, they are going to continue to lie to you, cheat from you, and steal from you. What is slavery? Slavery is when you get people to use their labor for other people to profit from. Well, what are we doing? We're spending our lives working because if you have a nine to five job, that means you have to get up in the morning every time at a specific time. You have to drive to work, do whatever the job is, get your pay so you can pay your taxes, pay your bills, pay your mortgages and spend all this money while they steal it from you and do nothing. So they profit off of your labor. The only difference between slaves in the old days and slaves today is slaves in the old days knew they were slaves. Now they just let you roam free. They took away the chains and said, you're free to roam wherever you want. As long as you pay your taxes, as long as you do what we say, and as long as you don't go too far away. Try and leave the country with all your possessions without a, without a passport and see how quick you're detained and all your, your items are taken from you. Or at the very least, how quick they will ransack through your items and take whatever they want. If you think you're free, I hate to tell you this, anywhere throughout the world, it is an illusion. It is a Ponzi scheme. And like any Ponzi scheme, it is only effective if people participate in it. That's what governments throughout the world are counting on. And that's why they will entertain you. That's why they will scare the living crap out of you. That's why they will threaten you. That's why they will do whatever it takes to make you focus over here while they do all these things to you over here. And especially in the United States corporation, our constitution, our fake constitution that was uh, changed in 1871, is only a valid because of the consent of the governed. Well, if people don't argue it and they don't dispute it, they are consenting to it, even through their silence. So if people actually realize they don't have to consent anymore and they can actually just walk away because governments need us. We don't need them because all they do is they get what they call money out of thin air, loan it to people that have to work their whole lives to pay it back plus interest, or they will throw you in jail or take away those very items that they actually don't even have the right to own. They've just tricked you. So do you like being tricked? Do you like being deceived? Do you enjoy all the free carrots they hand you? Look at minimum wage. People think minimum wage when they raise it is a good thing. All they're doing is, is taking entry level positions and in making the owners of businesses have to pay more money to these people. They are not going to absorb the cost. So what are they going to do? They are going to raise the prices of their products or their services. So, so much in fact, that the little amount that you get as your raise increase Actually, you end up spending more money because of all the prices of all the different items and all the different products that have increased because of that fact. But because the Democrats and all these government people want to say what you need to hear, or they're going to say what you need to hear, they're going to tell you how much raising the minimum wage is a wonderful thing. Well, it ultimately destroys an economy because people end up can't, uh, not being able to afford the basic necessities because most of the basic necessities that we get come from people who work from entry-level positions. So raising the minimum wage does nothing but hurt an economy. But they will trick you because they know that people will just be followers. They'll be led and rah, 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 because the whole crowd is going to sit there and you love that feeling of everybody loving you. And you don't realize how much it hurts you, it hurts your children, and will destroy your grandchildren's future in the long run. But because most people have the attitude of, as long as I get mine, and as long as it doesn't happen at this moment or it doesn't happen to me, I don't care about tomorrow. I don't care about next week. I don't care about a decade from now. But eventually, tomorrow comes. The decade comes. 
and you notice how things are not getting better. You notice how things are not getting more less expensive. You notice how times are not getting easier. You notice how our freedoms are getting less and less frequent. Hello, McFly. When do we get it? We make the choice. We are giving the consent of the governed. When we all realize that it's nothing more than, like I said, a Ponzi scheme, and we walk away, game over. But keep being distracted. Get ready for that Super Bowl. Get ready to see the next scandal from some politician or some actress or actor. Keep being distracted. Watch all those wonderful TV shows that do nothing to expand your mind. If you choose to do that, and it is a choice, you have every right to do that, but then you give up your right to complain. You can't sit there and say, if somebody puts poison in your drink, and you're dumb enough to keep drinking it and say, oh, this is disgusting. Oh, I don't like this. Oh my God, it tastes funny, but oh uh, God, I'm really thirsty, and I don't want to walk to the other room to get this another drink, and oh God, this is so disgusting, and it's probably going to kill me, and my stomach is killing me. It's hurting and you're dumb enough to keep drinking it, well, don't be shocked if you drop dead. Come on, people, really? Peace.